So here we have an engine with a stock exhaust manifold and stock oil filter mounting plate and oil filter. And as you can see, there are no clearance issues. Everything fits as it should. But now let's see what happens if we decide to modify this engine. Let's imagine we want to fit a different exhaust manifold with the goal of turbocharging our engine. And as you can see, clearance now becomes a problem and the manifold is hitting the oil filter. Even a shorter oil filter doesn't help much and installing a turbocharger is simply impossible. The only solution in a scenario like this is to relocate our oil filter. In other words, we remove our stock oil filter and oil filter mounting plate and replace it with an oil filter relocation kit that allows us to put our oil filter pretty much anywhere we want to. Now an oil filter relocation kit consists of two main parts. This part goes onto your stock oil filter location and the other part houses your oil filter on its new location. And then these two parts get connected to each other. Now your stock mounting plate and oil filter are connected to the engine using this long hollow bolt. Obviously this bolt is too long for the rotation plate so the kit has a shorter version of this hollow bolt. The kit also comes with two adapters to suit a wide variety of engines. The adapter is fastened into the mounting bracket and then the hollow bolt is installed into the adapter. After that you can screw the entire assembly into the block as you would with your oil filter. The oil filter itself is of course installed into the other part of the kit and then you can use the provided mounting brackets and bolts to install the oil filter and housing at your desired location. The kit that I'm using in this video is made by Manon Racing Products in New Zealand which specializes in Toyota 4AGE performance parts. This kit is a high quality billet item with impeccable finish machining to ensure perfect fitment and maximum flow. It's designed to operate reliably under high temperatures and in harsh racing conditions. Thanks to its extensive range of adapters, it also suits a wide variety of engines. It's designed to fit Dash 10AN or Army Navy fittings for a leak free, easily removable and serviceable connection. Dash 10AN is a large cross-section fitting which ensures optimum flow and it is the recommended size for most applications. However, there is a problem with this kit. As you can see, the fittings point outward at a right angle from the engine block wall and the AM fittings add to the profile of the adapter which again results in potential clearance problems. Fortunately, this can be easily resolved by removing the provided fittings and replacing them with banjo bolt style fittings. These then point the connection downwards and dramatically reduce the profile of the relocation plate, leaving more than enough room for the turbo. Here you can observe the difference between the two fitting styles side by side. If you do decide to use the banjo fittings, make sure that they are also 10 AN so they have enough of a cross section for good fall. An oil filter relocation kit also gives us the opportunity to install an oil cooler to reduce oil temperatures which can be something very beneficial in racing or other situations where we have high engine loads for prolonged periods of time. When it comes to plumbing the oil cooler you have two options. Option one is to have the oil flow from the engine to the cooler then to the filter and finally back into the engine. Option two is to have the oil run to the filter first and then to the cooler and finally back into the engine. Both options are acceptable in most scenarios and each has its own small benefits. Having the oil cooler before the filter means that the oil filter can catch any residual solder and other debris that can break loose from inside the oil cooler. But it can also mean that you're sending cooler more viscous oil into the filter. If the oil is too cool and too viscous it will trigger the bypass valve inside the oil filter and reduce the amount of oil actually being filtered. But fortunately there is a solution to this problem as well. If your oil cooler ends up cooling the oil too much, you can install this, which is a thermostatic adapter or sandwich plate. You can install it both under the oil filter or under the mounting bracket on the engine. Inside it, the thermostatic plate has a proportioning valve, which sends more oil to the cooler the hotter it gets. The end result is an engine that gets to operating temperature faster, but also doesn't overcool its oil. In general, installing an oil cooler and oil filter relocation kit doesn't just help by keeping your oil cool, it also increases the oil capacity of your engine, which is always a good thing. 
In my case, installing the MRP kit together with my very small oil cooler actually increases my oil capacity by around one liter. And this is definitely good because it helps keep temperatures in check and it's especially a good idea when you also need to feed a turbocharger with fresh, clean, cool oil. Something that I really like about the MRP oil filter location kit are these little markings on the housings. One, two, three, and four. This makes it really easy to connect everything properly. One goes to two, two to three, and three to four, completing the system. Another really nice feature are these twin ports on the oil filter mount. These allow you to install either temperature or pressure sensors, or you can use them to feed clean pressurized oil to your turbocharger. A final note that I would like to add is that although an oil filter relocation kit allows you to relocate the oil filter pretty much anywhere, some locations are better than others. For example, mounting the oil filter much higher than the sample like this can result in your engine running dry for a brief period of time when you start it after a few days of it being turned off. Although oil filters have anti-drain back valves that prevent the oil from inside the engine from returning to the sump, these are not foolproof and are not completely efficient. If an engine is sitting still for a month or so, the oil will almost inevitably drain back to the sump. And the next time you start your engine, the engine will run dry for a second or so before the oil gets to all the bearings and internals. Now in the stock scenario, the filter is almost always right on the block or very close to it, so the path from the sump to block is extremely short and the engine may run dry only very briefly. But if you relocate your oil filter, the cold viscous oil has to travel through the hoses to the filter and then from the filter through more hoses to reach the engine internals. This means that if all the oil drains back to the sump and your filter is mounted high like this, your engine can run dry for more than a second, maybe even 5 to 10 seconds or more if you also have an oil cooler without a thermostatic plate. Now a few seconds of running dry won't kill your engine, but over time these dry starts accumulate and shorten the lifespan of your engine. On the other hand, if you place the oil filter lower, at some level, you prevent the oil from draining back because obviously oil can't travel against the forces of gravity. This means that there will always be some oil in the lines and your engine will not run dry for as long after it hasn't been started in a while. And there you go, oil filter relocation kits. I hope this video helps you understand how and why to install them, what are their benefits and potential risks. As always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll be seeing you soon with more fun and useful stuff on the D4A channel.